I said, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> you know, it's been a long time since uh, I made it back. And um, I'm thankful that my mom made it. Um, it was such an incredible period for my life. I really, you know, if you don't take anything from tonight, I wish you student athletes, remember all of you are one bad situation, one injury away from ending your greatest opportunity to impact the sports world. You've done so many good things in such a short amount of time. You have a chance to set the bar even higher. And you should take every chance you've got to do it. I was an average kid coming out of Detroit. You know, most of us come from Detroit, we know what it's like. I had a great opportunity to show the world what I could do. And I'm really thankful that I had a chance for my coaches to come back, for my support staff and my family to support me. And I can't, you can't be successful without support from other people. One of the things I look forward to every day is getting an opportunity to say thank you. Because it, it, this could have happened to anybody that worked their tail off. This can happen to anybody that stayed disciplined enough to just stay out of trouble, stay focused on school, keep doing the right things. There's no magic pill on being successful. You make decisions in life, and you got to make good decisions. And that's all you continue to do is create a habit of making good decisions in life. You know, one of my earliest coaches is here tonight. He gave me my first crack at having a chance to play the game and play it the right way. I remember him benching me my first couple of games because I just didn't play the style of basketball he wanted me to play. And I learned early that there's rules and regulations and you have responsibilities to follow. My high school coach is here. And again, another great man that gave me a chance. And he did the same thing. He made me accountable to making sure that I played the game the right way. And with Tom Ezzo and Judd Heathcote, who were here during my years, they followed up with the same program. And it formulated to the success that I still continue to use that format by. My opportunities I've gotten today are not from the things that I did with scoring points and the highlights that you see. The opportunity I've been given to do a, some good things in life and impact you, some of the young athletes come from the same things you've heard. I made decisions early. Thank God I made good decisions early to continue to do some major things that I think is going to be really difficult for you. But you can do it. You guys are equipped with some things we weren't equipped with. And you should take time out to thank all the people that had an opportunity tonight to come and be honored. Because those are the people that set the standard for you and will continue to set the bar for people like you to come and see how you can continue to, a great tradition here at Michigan State. So if you walk away with anything that you learn tonight, continue to strive for excellence because that's what Spartan sports are about, excellence. There's no doubt we have escalated our program nationally to be reckoned with in the top 5% of schools. And it's your job to maintain that and keep it there. So good luck with everything tonight. Congratulations on your honor as letter winners. And continue to stay focused throughout your careers, and you'll do just as great. Thank you. Thank you.